one of the most worrisome questions that all beardsmen have at some point is how many beard hairs should I be losing in a day? Now, this is never a fun sight to see when you see that long, beautiful, healthy beard hair in the sink. You have a little bit of moment of silence or in the shower. You're like, oh man, but it is natural. This is a part of the shedding process. And a lot of beard guys do not realize that the average human loses between 50 to 100 head hairs per day. Now, some of them don't realize that because they are bald and don't have any head hairs. Also, you don't realize it because the hairs are thinner, maybe they're a different color, and oftentimes those hairs are coming out in the shower, so it's not quite as easy to notice. But with we're beardsmen, we notice it when we're combing, we notice it when we're in the shower, we notice it when we're messing around with our beard, or just overall grooming. Now, what I wanted to do was find a way to give the best number possible. I've covered things in the past, like seasonal shedding increases, I've covered what is shedding, what is breakage, and I'll summarize those right after the introduction, so we kind of have a one-stop shop for this. This, but I wanted something a little bit more concrete. So what I did was I went for 45 days and I did my best ability to track every beard hair that I lost. That sounds ridiculous. That sounds like, wow, I can't believe a, a man would do that. Well, I wanted to help you guys out and I wanted to put some numbers to it. Did I miss some? Probably. Is it a perfect number? No, but I think it will give you guys a really good idea. And this counted my long hairs that are like 11, 12 inches long. Also my short mustache and around the cheeks. I tried to find everyone that I could possibly could. And it was pretty easy in the sink. I have a white sink and my hairs are a different color than white, most of them. And then I also would do this in the shower and I just kind of kept a general idea. So on average for 45 days, by the way, my name is Dan C. Bearded. If you have not, please consider subscribing. And if you're watching this, please hit a thumbs up on the video. Over 45 days, I averaged 17 beard hairs lost per day. Now, this was over the course of when we had warmer weather, when we had more rain, to now when it is downright cold and dry. There were different things going on in my life over that month and a half. I think it's a pretty good, accurate number for me. 17 beard hairs per day. Now, let me give you the answer to the title of this video. How many beard hairs should you be losing per day? This is not perfect, but this is the best I can give you. I believe that a healthy beardsman should be losing between 5 and 30 beard hairs a day. Now, there will be times of increased shedding. There will be things where you spike. But if you were to track yours over 45 days, if you were to track yours over 30 days, over a year, if you are over 30 on that average, we want to start looking at that. We're getting up into those upper numbers there. If you are over 50, we have lost too much. There's something going on. And again, I'm not talking about in a day. If you have one day, if you have a week of increased shedding, that's going to happen. But if we are sustaining those numbers, we want to start looking at the causes of that. Okay? So for me, 17, rule of thumb, thumb. A rule of thumb between 5 and 30 beard hairs a day. Please, right now, I'm going to come back. We're going to have more in the video. But if you could, do me a favor. Pause the video. Drop a comment down below. How many beard hairs do you estimate that you lose in a day? If you have no idea, maybe start tracking it. Let us know down below. Hey, I have no idea. And then you'll come back and update us. All right? So let's go into the intro. And then we'll get into some more details and kind of summaries. To briefly begin here, there are good hairs in the sink and there are bad hairs. The good hairs will be a result of natural shedding, and that would be an, at the end of the hair, you are going to have a white bulb. It's going to look like a little ball at the end, and it should be white. What that means is your hair has ran its natural course. I have videos on the natural uh, cycles of hair growth and hair loss. Check that out. I'll try to link everything that is relative to this video in the description. Remember, Dan, remember. All right, I got it. So that is natural. You may also find hairs that are in the sink that have a dark colored bulb. That is is premature shedding. That is not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not the healthiest. You want to try and cut down on those. And then the worst ones are if you find a hair in the sink that have no bulbs at the end, that would be breakage. Meaning your body did not shed that hair. It simply cut it off. It broke it off. Something happened that was negative to that. All right. What can cause shedding? 
natural cycle. You can increase shedding, right, the rate at which you are losing hairs because of things like seasonal shedding. A lot of times when the season is changing, you're going to dry weather, you might start losing some more hairs. Uh, it, it's just kind of, if you think about it, right, when you think about dogs are shedding more, cats, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we do too. We're just an animal just like them. Now, another thing that can cause shedding increase is stress major, major, major indicator of increased shedding. Take a look at what's going on in your life. If you lower that stress, you will also lower your, sh your shedding cycle, which is a good thing. Now, another thing can be over grooming, right? Shedding can happen naturally, but you can also have that premature and then make it happen too early by just being a little bit too aggressive with the tools. Let the tools do the work. You don't need to power through them. I promise the comb will do its job. The brush will do its job. Just be easy on it, okay? And then other things would just be poor diet, poor water. If you are dehydrated, you're going to lose more hairs. The more you hydrate, the more it's going to hold on. The better food you have, the more it's going to hold on. Overall health is just going to be good for your hairs, okay? Breakage, on the other hand, is going to happen from things like excessive use of heat. Not really listening to your beard and dialing in like, oh, that's a little bit too much or a little bit too hot. Also things like if you're using poor products, if you have chemicals on there, low quality ingredients, anything like that, that's not going to be good for, for the hairs. And then also just over grooming. If you are really, really aggressive, you can literally split those hairs in half. If you don't believe me, grab one of those hairs out of the sink. Pop it in half and you'll see how easily that can be done. All right. So we covered what shedding is. We covered some things that, that can increase that. Now, the biggest thing is it's okay. All right. This is such like an interesting mental thing is so many guys will shed because of stress. They'll see that they're shedding more and have more stress and they just compound the problem. You're going to lose hairs. It doesn't even bother me at all. It doesn't even phase me. I just whoop, pull the hair out of the comb, throw it in the garbage. You keep going, right? My wife, after she takes a shower, our drain has tons and tons of hair. If she washed her hair, it's just natural. It just simply happens. Do not worry about it. Okay. I'm going to come back for a conclusion for you guys in two seconds. Conclusion, hopefully I have you guys' comments down below letting us know how many beard hairs you estimate that you have lost. Please let every, all of you, you, I know you love watching, I know you love lurking in the background, you're not much of a participator or a commenter, I would really appreciate it if you let us know how many beard hairs you're guessing. You don't have to count, you don't have to know exactly, just give us an estimate thinking about yesterday or however many days, how many beard hairs, all right? I do appreciate that, thank you. Also, do you have any add-ons? Is there something that, that you have from your experience, your perspective, that might help somebody out, that might help me out? Do you have any questions? I would love to clear those ones up. I know this is going to be a good video because so many guys ask about this and so many guys worry about it. I get it. Trust me. I've been there. We've all been there. I'm excited for this comment section on this video. Thank you guys for everything. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.